5 volt galvanic on elevator scapula showing Pfluger's law better action potential on the cathode. I'm right now going to show how if you change the high volt um, cathode and anode in terms of where the active pad is. So I currently have polarity negative which on the Chattanooga is going to be on a, the red lead instead of the black lead. That's just the rule of this particular unit. This happens to be channel number um, two. And what I'm going to be doing is having the patient, uh, I'm going to try to turn this up so I can show you when you have the negative or the red lead on the upper part of the levator that you get head turn versus if you have the negative or red lead on the lower part of the levator, you can get more of a shoulder shrug. So let's go ahead and come over to the patient. Um, I'm going to be turning this up. Using this hand, you can use a, that's enough, you can just dip your hand down when it's too much, okay? So here we go. So you can raise your hand up when you feel it. You're at 60 volts right now. Mm -hmm. There, can you see the twitch right there? And it's moving. We have her right now at 100 cycles per second. See how her whole neck is turning and her shoulder is shrugging? Okay, now what I'm going to do is keeping this as the active lead in quotations, and I'm going to switch this now, this one to positive. Same exact thing coming up. Would you say the shoulder shrug is bigger on that one or what, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at that, and then come back down. Mm -hmm.